following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. And it doesn't matter where you're at. You could be in Poughkeepsie. You could be in Lutz. You could be in the gulags of Canada. You could be anywhere. As long as you're here at this time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. So, what do we have going on today? Well, uh, let's just get to it. Uh, why didn't we bottom yesterday? Why did I say yesterday and this morning in the newsletter, even with the uh, S&P up uh, 30 points, that we are still looking for a low today? Well, there's a way that you make, uh, make lows. And if you come, I, I, uh, don't talk about it, probably should more about the power law vector indicator numbers. Uh, but generally what happens is, and I said it yesterday, uh, you come down on lighter volume or on uh, heavier volume, excuse me, um, in some. I was trying to think what we were looking at. Maybe Boeing would be a good, good example. Uh, but the whole market's kind of like this. Uh, let's get rid of that. Um, what you want uh, is uh, if the energy is good on the way up, which it wasn't, uh, then you want the energy on the backside leg or on the retest to come in on lighter energy. And you really didn't. The Boeing's kind of a good example here, and I'll show um, the move uh, and why I didn't think so, but you get a nice high on January 18th and you get the next low on January 28th. Uh, my power law uh, vector indicator number shows 7.7 .7 on the way down, 5.9 on the way up. Well, is that the end of the world? No. Uh, doesn't mean you're going to blow through the previous low on that 183.77 on the way back. But it does mean that you really need to have some decent juice on the leg up and light volume on the way back. Um, and this is just kind of a uh, stand-in for the whole market. But more than uh, half the stocks came uh, back on at least the uh, same level. So you've got two things. You can test lows on lighter volume, and then you have all that uh, real estate between the high and the low. Now, that character of that volume coming in on the lows, even though if you it does kind of peter out, get some lighter volume or something on some kind of low, if the energy is about the same or it's higher on the way back down, then generally you're going to consolidate those lows. You're not going to just make a V bottom. You're probably going to make something that looks more like a U bottom. Um, other things, uh, of course, uh, people that my newsletter get the sector oscillators. Uh, most of those, uh, one of the things I love about them is that it gives me a heads up about three to five days before we make significant lows, and it's caught all of them in the last five years. Um, doesn't mean I want to buy the low. Does mean that we're going to have a, a significant low when you get in there. And that's just a super washed out indicator. But I have, re you know, even with news, it almost always gives you about three to five days as a signal that once everything is on one side of the aisle, and we're talking about uh, in those charts that I have, uh, a, uh, yeah, should I pull them up? I probably should. Where do I have it? There, is that it? Yep. Hang on a second. Uh, been making lots of changes to my software, so give me just a second uh, to bring this up. We've got to load it all. 
And do, 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 okay. See if I can just run it here and bring it up. And we'll. Oh man. Okay. I don't have that implemented in this version. I don't think. Eh, that's why you should do these things beforehand, David. Uh, now that's something I need to fix so I can do one at a time. Um, let's see. I can just run all of them. I can create all of them. And when they're done, I can show one. So we'll let it do that at the moment. In fact, we're going to put them up here and they'll just fly by as I'm creating them. Um, what you'll see is uh, I've got a short, medium, and long-term uh, displaced moving average in these. And you can see from the, what was, what was that one? Before the two, okay. So I'll go back and catch that one. But you'll see, yeah, there's several good ones out here. Uh, around the 24th of last month is exactly what I'm looking for. Um, you're going to have uh, at least a couple of attempts to blow out the lows. And we only had really kind of one so far. Okay, is that done? One more, two more. I have 26 of them, one for every major sector in the market. Um, as you can see, the metals kind of peaked out here a little bit, probably not going to get huge. Let's find one of the other ones. Uh, here's kind of the retail version. Let's find a uh, here it is, the uh, junior gold miners. When you get a really good washout in this, you're going to get this one was like the 24th through the almost the 1st of February. You're going to get everybody on one side of the moving average. And this these charts are basically um, how many stocks in that ETF are above or below those different ones. So I've got... Uh, uh, short, medium, and long term. The long term is a 25 by 5 displaced moving average, as uh, shown or as uh, explained by Joe DiNapoli. And that's just uh, taking a, a uh, 25 day average and pushing it off five days into the future. So you take the last 25 days and it, it puts it out there a little bit. Anyway, uh, the big bars here. Uh, kind of the, I'm going to call them gray. I'm about half colorblind. Um, these bars here are kind of like when the market's just bouncing around, um, that's kind of uh, support and resistance. Uh, these uh, at the top are washout uh, euphoric buys, and at the bottom are washouts. So you can see in the gold miners how we had a really great washout that lasted about five or six days. But what you're going to get is you're going to get all three of those to go hit on one side of the fence, and you're going to start seeing uh, that it takes about four or five days, three days, maybe at a minimum, five days maximum on that side before everybody's washed out. So when we go, we'll look at a few more of these uh, here today. Got them up. I'll find a better one. That's a good example. What I'm looking for is that, you know, three or five days where everything's just on one side. We'll look at this when we come back. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month and try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Some more charts uh, in those sector oscillators, but uh, we're going to go to Steve and Ann Arbor. How you doing today? Good. How are you, Dave? Another day in paradise. The air conditioning's back on. The pool's in the upper 80s. The sun's out. Excellent. Hey, uh, I was wondering uh, if you thought that uh, Pfizer was going to go down the ten dollars. Uh, what which stock options would you play for September 2022 expiration? September, huh? You think ten bucks? Yeah. yeah. What makes you What makes you think ten bucks? Well, I don't know if we'd be allowed to talk about it on there. Let's just say <laughs> it, it's just, it, it, it can be either political reasons or legal reasons. I think legal. But probably a okay. combination of both. I, I talked. I talked about it yesterday or the day before. I can't remember either Friday. These guys have a. Uh, I didn't know what you were thinking of here. These guys have a absolute mountain of uh, of uh, liability, and I think it was yesterday because I, I kind of uh, vaguely remember uh, that I think I brought it up that I was talking to a bunch of attorneys in this business uh, at uh, the Daytona 500. And uh, they're all knee deep in this stuff because they see a never ending well of cash, uh, a lot uh, uh, and with a lot of stuff that was done and some whistleblowers. So uh, I don't think we can say anything that YouTube doesn't like. But I, I think as long as it's legal, I think we can say what we know in the rumors that are out there. Uh, but uh, there's a lot of these guys that probably going to lose their CEOs and stuff like that. Uh, from my understanding, talking to them, Pfizer is one of the poster child because they do have a whistleblower. Uh, I would say um, a couple of things from history is this, these legal issues tend to last a long time. And people, after the initial uh, discussion of them and it all hitting the press, tend to forget it because it takes a couple of years for these things to percolate through the courts and everybody forgets it. Um, here's what I would be looking for. 
Um, you coming back into a uh, just on a chart basis, you're coming back into the November 5th gap higher with 174 million shares with 13 million shares. So I'm not going to be a fan of buying them now. What I want to see is a light volume pop. Um, that being said, you've got this big gap here. You know, if you're looking for the pop on this, it's probably about 4550, something like that is where this thing will bottom out. That's about halfway through that gap. You're probably going to bounce back up to something like 52. And there, if the volume is light, which I expect it probably to be, that's where I would probably start looking at uh, going after them. Which ones were you thinking? Well, I i mean, that's exactly my thoughts. I was waiting yeah, until probably middle of March or so, because that's what I kind of see on the charts as well, that there'll be some kind of a rally and at that point in time. But I'm really not sure which ones. I don't have one in particular as far as the strike price. And well, you, you've, was... got a, you've got a little bit of a three-gap play setting up here, and that would take it from the – the 47 here, or whatever that is, uh, 4650 or 46 bucks or whatever it is, if it bottoms about halfway in there. So you've got a three gap play set up here. This isn't a big one, but my guess is it would fill all three of those gaps. So 5250 is where you want to take a look at it, light volume up there, um, and that would be it. Now, one of the other things that I like to look at. We'll go with the overlays here. That's a seven by five. Let's go back to three by three. Um, what you want this thing to do is go back above the three by three, stay above it for a while, go a little bit below it, go back up, and then close back below it again. And if you don't have a three by three, you can use a nine day. But what you want, or what I want, because I do think you're kind of right on this, uh, but probably longer term, uh, is uh, get up to about 52 and a half, um, maybe 53, have all the volume fall out, have it pull back a little bit, go back up again one more time, even lighter volume, and then the next move underneath that nine day or three by three. So it's... The patterns I like aren't ones that uh, develop every time, but generally you've got such a high batting average on that double repo pattern. It's the only ones I play. So yeah, have you been on when I've talked about the double repo? I mean, yeah, I've listened to you for a while. Okay. For those people that are new here, um, I, I basically trade through a, uh, an amalgamation of several folks. Um, I lot of, uh, learned a lot from Tim Orden and uh, Joe DiNapoli. Um, I always laughed that Joe DiNapoli told me that it was impossible to do uh, Gartley patterns. and uh, uh, Well, not Gartley patterns, uh, his confluence patterns automatically. And, of course, I had already had done it. Uh, in the art of the timing trade charts. And uh, uh, I thought it was very interesting. He told me it couldn't be done. I said, is it not going to do it perfectly? No, but you don't have time to, to do a thousand of them a day if you're all doing them by hand. And two, um, there's a lot of room for people to come in and have uh, their own bias injected into those, where if you do it mechanically, for the most part, uh, it's fairly easy. Um, let's do this, uh, retracements. So here's another good example. Uh, did I do this right? Uh, here's another good example of what to look at here um, in Pfizer. Did I answer your question? I felt like I just went off the range somewhere. No, no, no. Uh, that was actually very interesting. It's all good. Yeah, I was here's, just wondering here's if you the can reason. take a peek at like the September, the different strike prices, and if you notice anything unusual and which ones for that time frame that you may consider. Well, the only thing I see generally is everybody uh, crowing about unusual activity uh, on uh, stocks on CNBC, and they all turn to nothing. So 
you know, I'm just figuring that a lot of those guys are around on noon and talk about unusual activity and options and stuff. I think they're just getting paid off by, by the people in the market to sell lots of uh, options. Uh, last week, was it last week? They were all deciding that they had to go uh, full long on 900 uh, uh, Google, uh, not Google, uh, Tesla calls. And they were buying, you know, 50,000 of them or whatever, right? And I thought, this is one more time into the breach. You might as well be sticking your head into a, a lion's mouth. I want to talk to... Uh, you a little bit more about this if you can hang on because I wanted to show you this confluence, the uh, two confluence areas uh, out here uh, in uh, in uh, Pfizer for you, okay? All right. Thanks. We'll be back in a minute. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8:30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors tfnn is excited about our new software charting program the art of timing the trade charts in collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com. And back. Uh, I think we are back. Yeah, uh, with Steve in Ann Arbor. Still there, Steve? Yeah, I'm still here, Dave. Okay. Uh, are you watching on Tiger TV or on YouTube or? Yes. Yeah, okay. on YouTube. Okay. Um, I'm showing. I don't know how long it's delayed, but I'm showing Pfizer here, and um, the retracements on uh, Pfizer. Um, if uh, everybody's anybody's tuning in for the first time, 
uh, one of the things I like are these confluence areas. And confluence uh, areas were, I think, at least partially a Joe DiNapoli thing, too. And that is, instead of just using individual Fibonacci ratios, you use the Fibonacci's between two major moves. And if the 618 and 382 uh, of uh, the bigger and the smaller one, as I'm showing out here, uh, get fairly close, uh, then they are fairly good uh, targets for supply and resistance, uh, uh, support and resistance. Uh, and what I love is when you get one of those together and you get a gap together, and then you put that together with uh, volume. So there's a lot of stuff. You know, when you get three or four things all pointing to a, a number or a range like this, it's pretty good. Um, generally, if you want a uh, short sell number, if you're looking for something like probably 50 cents in Pfizer, uh, this is uh, $51.76 to 60, yeah, 62, excuse me, 52.66. So it's about 80 cents. It's a little wide. I, the tighter those get, the better. And you'll see how many times they just go up there and hit it exactly. Um, individual Fibonacci's are not that good. Uh, double gaps, uh, confluence levels are uh, those, you know, when you put multiple things together, those things tend to work a lot better. Uh, there's only a single gap, but you do have the confluence right there at that 52, up to 52.66. So, you know, you get 52.66 and you want it to be short this thing and the volume's light on the move back up. That's where you're looking. All right. Does that make sense? Yes, I'll go it into, does, Dave. Thank okay, you bet. I'm going to go into, thanks for the call. I'm going to go Thank into you. one of the things I was talking about why I didn't think uh, today or yesterday uh, afternoon or today earlier, and we might find a low maybe late today um, in the newsletter, uh, was... Uh, looking at these uh, uh, moves in uh, the IBB again, why I don't think Pfizer has bottomed, even though it's got light volume. And that is you're probably going to come back and do the same kind of thing, which is you're going to have uh, three or four days uh, of uh, washing everybody out. Now, the volume's light, but you still have some stuff. Now, uh, let's go to uh, some of the other ones out here. I think I should have the S and P. Uh, I think it's on the other side here. Okay, uh, here's the S and P. Again, these things tend to lead by about three or four days, and even though we came in with light volume, we're breaking down through these levels, um, and this shaded area in my sector oscillators are kind of where the thing should stop. Uh, and you can see where it stopped uh, here in the S&Ps on the 14th uh, in this one. And then you had the little rally and then gave it all up back up, right? Generally, you want some sideways action or some consolidation. And you can see that back here in January about 24th through the, about the, what is that, 31st or so um, back here. You went sideways. You were washing out. Every time someone tried to do something, it did nothing. Those are some really nice bottoms to buy. And you get generally one more push. But you know that you're going to have three or five days. If you're trying to hang on to a stock and it's not doing well, it's probably just going to get worse for three to five days. And then it's kind of done. Um, if we go back and look at the previous one, which is the end of November, same kind of thing. You get down into these oversold levels, and at this point, everything is on one side of the moving averages of the displaced moving averages. So that's where you start getting it. But you know, I don't. You don't have a lot of instant V lows out here when they're washing everybody out at the lows. Now maybe we get maybe it breaks and goes lower. But at best, what you want to do is hold your breath, sit on your hands. If you're trying to go long uh, for more than, you know, six hours, 
because I write a newsletter and, you know, it takes 15 or 30 minutes to get it to you guys. If you're talking about trading on five minute bars, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about on these, everybody bidding on one side, uh, having to go home every night because really we're kind of uh, market psychologists, uh, not so much. Tra well, we are traders, but we're traders based on trying to get the psychology of the market from charts so that we have a little bit of distance uh, from whatever our internal uh, mechanisms are for how we interpret the world and the news and whether the cat threw up on the carpet or all the other things that happen in our life. It, charts do have, uh, help to separate us. But what this means is generally they don't let suckers out when they're throwing the baby out with the bathwater. It takes about three to five days. So we're kind of there now. Now, I thought maybe we could have a V bottom uh, today if we didn't break through. But already yesterday, we did break through on the uh, short term one. And generally, the other two will follow. And that's one of the reasons why I am not long today and why I put that in the newsletter, because I had a couple people ask me why I thought with the S&P up 30 or 40 percent points early in the morning, why I thought that this would just reverse one more time. And that's it. Once you get down there, you, a lot of times you get instant one day reversals. And a good example is this 24th of January out here. It looked like everything was over. You're back up. Then you have two or three days going sideways. And is it going to do something? Well, it finally burns itself out. And you get a little bit of rally. You get a double top and you come back down here. Now, is there a lot of volume? No, but you're going to have to sit on your hands until you get a really good signal. Maybe it's three days, maybe it's five days, but uh, with it being the 23rd, let's say that it was three days, that really takes you into the 28th or the 1st of, Feb or of March, uh, and it may take that long to get back into fun buying and some other stuff. But uh, I'm not a big fan of being long here for very long. I'm thinking that long trades, maybe three or four days on some decent, significant lows, maybe five days. Uh, but, uh, you know, we got a market where literally everything is going against you. So uh, looking for, even though with these light volumes, out of a bounce, maybe in the next uh, few days, getting back up higher, these things are going to fail a little bit hard, uh, higher, maybe. And if they do, then car, uh, Katie, bar the door when we go out and blow out uh, 42.50. We'll be back in a minute. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. I've seen better days. Had the bottom dropped out. Who does that? I can't remember that band. I think they're one hit wonder, but not sure. Uh, anyway, uh, as I said, we're looking at some kind of a low out here. The semis, uh, same kind of thing. But you tend to get oversold and stay oversold. There's an old saying from uh, John Maynard Keynes. A market can remain irrational longer than you can remain solvent. But uh, my guess is we're going to have the same thing here for a couple of days. And that uh, is uh, just going to test and try the uh, will of men's soul. No, it wasn't Gordon Lightfoot, you nitwit. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say... Da, 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 da. I... The bottom drops out. Citizen King, better days in the bottom. I wish I could. I would just play it now. But of course, we all know what kind of folks uh, people are at YouTube, and they don't believe in fair use because uh, I just play 10 seconds of it. But uh, Citizen King, better days, and the bottom drops out. Anyway, my musical toast uh, to what's going on here today. Anyway, a couple of days out here. Uh, big things we should be watching for, of course, is volume. Um, we need about 18 billion to really blow out this low. So the longer that we have lighter volume below 18 billion on the day is good for setting up a low. That's why I'm still a little bit uh, very short term bullish once this comes in. We got about 7.7 .7 billion shares now at 244 uh, Eastern time or market time as it's known or Florida time or God's time because you live in Florida. Anyway, 7.7 uh, uh, .7 billion shares. You really need about 15 to 18 billion to get going. So we're about half that now. We're probably going to do about 11 billion shares so, yeah, we could get a fairly decent bounce out of here, but it's probably, like I said, just sit on your hands. Uh, if you're thinking about going long, wait for the good signal, wait for a couple of days. Uh, and, you know, there are some bright uh, stars out there. Uh, someone brought up Amazon in the den, and this is really what I like. Uh, out here. So we'll turn this off here so it makes it look a little bit better. But one of the reasons I uh, picked the uh, charting module that I wrote the um, art of timing of trade charts in is because it did transparencies. And it allowed me to really easily see when we had multiple um, gaps in a stock. And if you break out and go higher and you have a lot of energy, come back with nothing, then generally uh, the best place to buy it is about halfway into that gap. Now, could we get a little bit more into this uh, to make halfway 2,900? 
round number on Amazon? Uh, we could. But uh, my guess is we're probably fairly close, within 20 bucks, probably of Amazon making some kind of low here. Uh, we'd need some kind of uh, biblical event, frogs, uh, blood in the uh, blood in the rivers, uh, locusts, packs of locusts, uh, that kind of stuff. Real uh, wrath of God stuff. Dogs living with cats um, out here. But that actually does not look bad uh, out here. You've got about half the volume so far you had yesterday. Um, it wasn't a big day yesterday, but it's light volume and you're back into these. I just, in a bear market, um, you you get a handful of days at lows. In bull markets, you know, you had five minutes to buy the thing uh, in it. Now, in a bear market, which I believe we're in, you have a handful of days to wait. And uh, the more patience that you show, either staying short or waiting to get long, it is better off. Um, Gordon Lightfoot. <laughs> Where did that come from? Pigs flying. I don't know. What did I say to generate that? 877-927-6648. You can be just like uh, Steve from Ann Arbor and be on the show. And maybe to touch on something that makes me think about something and explain my thinking on a great deal of this uh, there is a lot. I probably don't spend enough time explaining it all, but uh, yeah, Lucy's got explaining to do. I've got trading to do. Anyway, 7.7 uh, .7 billion shares as we speak. Uh, we'll call it 7.8 uh, on the CBOE consolidated tape. Uh, if you want uh, a link to that, uh, give me a uh, email at path at tfnn .com. And In fact... I think we've got some stuff here. Uh, with the VIX uh, index well below the December and January highs, would it make any sense to make the low versus a low? Not exactly sure what you're pointing at here, uh, to Pete. I'm not a big fan of picking specific levels out here for the VIX, uh, as mostly because it depends on where you start. It's like a summation index. Uh, that's a 24- uh, 36-day moving average of the uh, cost of out-of-the-money puts and calls, just the premiums, since there's no intrinsic value. And it depends how long it's been going on. So you get a lot of front-weighted uh, down days. It can remain fairly um, – it is an exponential uh, moving average. But, yeah, it's 30 – Six and 24 days, I think, uh, last time I looked. Uh, but, yeah, it's uh, it can remain weighted for a while. In fact, uh, let's take a quick look here because I know I've got it down here. Uh, I don't know if this is current. Let's uh, take a quick look here. Eh, it's a little uh, – this is delayed. I don't know why. I've never bothered. I can use the UVXY as a better indication of real time, so I haven't felt like – paying for real-time VIX. Uh, it's up 4.4% at 30.07. So uh, do you have anything there? Um, yeah, I don't know if there's a whole lot to that, but, uh, yeah, you're probably going to have a big spike generally well do, uh, uh, during the day, uh, to keep a close eye on it is I will use the UVXY, uh, to do, we'll do, I'll put that up UVXY because it tends to lead the underlying, uh, and tell people which way they're going a little earlier. So you're up today. Yeah, you're probably going to have similar volume the last three or four days. Um, you're a little less than 150 million shares on February 14th. But uh, this doesn't tend to stop as well on volume. But, 
uh, I think we're close. Like I said, maybe a day or two away out here, maybe three. Be back in a minute. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis the tiger first mortgage program may be the program for you the best rate on a five-year cd in the country right now according to bankrate.com is paying one percent per year or one thousand dollars per one hundred thousand dollars invested the tiger first mortgage program pays seven percent per year paid monthly on secured high value buildable properties in st petersburg florida the investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. And we got a, another question, Ronald, and I won't read the whole thing because we'd be out of this segment, uh, but, uh, oh, we got another one too, so I got two to get in here. Uh, the first is uh, just something that reminds me uh, of a uh, something that Tom O'Brien said. Uh, I started trading seventy uh, in 96 and went full-time in October of uh, 98 and really haven't looked back. But uh, as we got to be around uh, 2000, uh, Tom said one thing, and that was, he said several things, but uh, one of the things you want to be uh, thinking about is until you've gone through a few of these cycles, you really won't understand them. And at one is generally not good enough. But remember, probably 80% of the people in the market right now, maybe 70%, have never, were never in the market in 2008 or 2009, and they really don't know what a bear market is or how it works or what it does. Um, 2008, probably also an outlier. Everybody just assumes that everything uh, fell out all at once. That's not generally uh, the way long-term bear markets are. So just know that most people don't understand the difference between the two and haven't traded both of them 
And you really have to be in this business for a while and go through a couple of them to really understand them. Uh, question from uh, Richard. Um, the buyers come from at the lows or is it a lack of sellers? It can be either. It's a lot of supply and demand, uh, either one. But generally, great lows are made on lack of interest, and that means lighter volume. Everybody giving up on selling. You don't get a lot of movement. Uh, they uh, torture them for a handful of days in bear markets. Finally get up, and then you can get a, uh, a, a bottom, not like yesterday's, but one where it slowly goes up over a series. So when you can, not when you have to, we'll be back like a bad rash tomorrow. Same bat channel.